Do you guys know TSMC? They're the chip maker behind uh, the world's favorites, favorite graphics cards. You got them producing the RTX cards. You got them producing things like AMD's graphics cards and CPUs. In fact, they're one of the most prolific vendors of chips out on the market right now. And they have said that they are ready to begin production on their next set of production lines, lithographies. That's what they're tended to be called. Because currently, right now, the most up-to-date one is seven nanometers. That's what Radeon 7 is based on. It's on a TSMC seven nanometer process. But the next one is also gonna be seven nanometers, but it's gonna be EUV, which stands for extreme ultraviolet lithography. So it's actually gonna be a better version of seven nanometers. And they're expected to go into mass production this June. And it's not likely that Zen 2 or the upcoming uh, Navi graphics cards are gonna be based on this seven nanometer EUV. They're probably gonna be likely based on the prior seven nanometers, just the standard one. But there is now information out there that Zen 3, which is gonna come in two years, is going to be based on this EUV lithography because it's going to allow for 20% greater transistor density and give us better chips down the line. So it looks like Zen 2 and Zen 2 Plus, which will be this year and in 2020, will be based on the current seven nanometers. And then Zen 3, which will be based on seven nanometer EUV and give us an increase in the process as well as some refinements in the architecture. So that's good to hear. And if I had to guess, I would say that Nvidia is probably also gonna be basing their next gen GPUs of seven nanometers on this EUV process. So that's gonna be great because then they'll have the leg up over AMD who's on the regular seven nanometers and they can say, screw y'all AMD, you guys suck. You chose the early seven nanometers. That's why we did 12 on Turing because we were smart. We knew that if we waited for the EUV stuff to start producing, we'd have the upper hand, not because we can design a better GPU than you, but because you know you guys are just, uh, you're too hot to get into the game because you're trying to get from behind. And that means that you're trying to make initial brass decisions that happen far too quickly and you should have just waited a little bit instead of trying to release a Radeon 7 so soon or trying to release Navi so soon because gosh dang it, don't you know when you have money, you have the ability to be patient. That's what NVIDIA said. Or it could be that N NVIDIA knows that they have to compete with Intel and not AMD and they're actually trying to make sure that they're ahead for Intel and they didn't need to worry about AMD because AMD has nothing up their sleeve. So they're just biding their time, trying to make some cash, keep consumers happy with a new release and not really worry about anything. But holy crap, they're sweating behind the scenes because Intel's gonna drop a really hot Project Z and that's gonna make them really cry. Jensen in his leather jacket's gonna have to use that leather to wipe his eyes. It's gonna be sad. What do you think? Let me know, comments, hit the like button, get subscribed. Hot news, hot takes. Brett, bye.